Welcome. I'm so glad to the opportunity to listen to the Alphalus McPherson channel. Today my assignment is to help those to move on from your past to your present, to your future. Your future can only happen if you forget about your past. Your future can only happen if you get about the past, the bad memories. He glory to God. In 1 Samuel, glory to God, 16 chapter, verse number 1. And I read, glory to God. Now the Lord said unto Samuel, how long will you mourn? He glory to God for Saul, seeing I have rejected him from being reigning over Israel. Hey, glory to God. So my assignment is to tell you how long are you going to hold on to your past seeing I have moved them out of the way. My friend, how long are you going to hold on to your past? How long are you going to hold on to somebody that treats you like a dog? How long are you going to hold on to somebody that don't love you? He just want to have sex with you. He just want to beat you up and give you a black eye. You wearing glasses. He will call you all kind of name, but a woman. He will call you B word. He will call you F. He call you slut. He call you a whore. How long are you gonna hold on to your past? In the story about about Saul, Saul was the first king of Israel, but Saul was hard headed. Saul, glory to God, let the people push him, glory to God, then listen to Samuel, glory to the voice of saying, don't sacrifice until I come. But God say, glory to God, I reject Saul for becoming king. And God told Samuel, Samuel, how long are you going to mourn over Saul seeing I reject him from being king? Glory to God, hallelujah, get your, get your ram. Get your go of sacrifice and go to Jesse's house because I have a new king. Hey, glory to God. One of Jesse's son going to become king. What I'm saying to you is watching my video, my friend. How long are you going to cry about this person? This person might be doing good sex to you, but it treats you. You bad. This girl might be good to you, but she treats you bad. How long are you gonna hold on to your past? The only way your present and your future will come, you forget about your past. Make room for your future. Make room for your present. My friend, how long are you gonna hold on to your past? How long are you gonna hold on to the baggage? The baggage is bringing you down. It's time for you to hold on to your present and hold and reach forward to your future. Your future is waiting on you, but you got to learn to let go of your past. This man don't love you. This man don't want to talk to you. This man go to God and I'm not picking on you. This man hang the phone up on you. This man call you every word. He call you a bitch. He call you all kind of name, my friend. Why you want to be around somebody that call you a female dog? You're not no female dog. You are not a dog. You are a person. You're not a product. You are a person. You are a Jew. You know junk. Go to God. You are a Jew. You're not no trash. You are a treasure. What I'm saying to you, my friend, go to God. Any man that disrespect you, it's time for you to dump him. It's time for you to make you a curve and kick him to it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. How long are you going to uh, cry about your past? The Bible says, weeping men do for a night, but joy coming in the morning. Stop crying for this man. I know he give you good sex. I know, glory to God, he bump and grind you good. My friend, there's somebody better can bump and grind you. Somebody want to marry you. Someone doesn't want sex with you someone just want to screw you someone just don't want to tell you you are good but don't want to give you a ring don't want to give you a commitment how long are you going to mess with this man how long are you going to mess with this girl glory to God she might be beautiful but she got a bad attitude she might be beautiful but her breath stink she might be beautiful but her body stink Hey, glory to God. And I'm not saying this glory to, to define how this young lady, my friend. But I'm saying to you, how long are you going to hold on to somebody that God say is not your future? It's not your present, but it's your past. Let your past be your past. The Bible say, my friend, Paul say, forget those things which are behind. Why do you think in a car? Let's talk about a car. In a car, the, the, the rear view mirror is small. 
but a windshield is big you know why because a windshield represents your future your windshield represents your present my friend your past should be a glimpse and that's it you should learn from your past your past mean that you gave sex up too easy your past mean that when he touch you you drop your drawers your past is you ain't even you don't even know your family. You don't even know his family. You don't even know her family, my friend. Any man, listen, I'm talking to women. Can I talk to women right now? Any man, he glory to God, that you don't know his mother or his sister, that's not the man for you. And any woman, glory to God, that you don't know her father, she's not the woman for you. I'm telling you from experience, my friend, go to God, hallelujah. If you want to know somebody, you know their future, you know their mother, and you know their father, go to God, hallelujah. So I'm telling you, stop crying about your past. Let your past be gone and prepare room for your future. The only way, go to God, there could be a new king, the, the, the old king got to die. My friend, even though David was an anointed king, David only can reign in his kingdom if Saul was dead. It's time for you to bury your past. How long are you going to hold on to your past, your memories? Let your memory just be your memory. Don't go back and call your memory. Don't go back and visit your memory. Don't even text. Don't even go on Facebook and comment. Let your past be your path. It's time for you to, to hallelujah, glory to God. I'm talking to somebody right now. Hallelujah. How long are you going to cry? How long are you going to weep in nights? How long you can't sleep at night? Because you're remembering about your past. Your past, my friend. Glory to God is your past. The only way you, your sweet, you will see your future if you forget about your past. Your past is making hindrance of your present and your future. How long are you going to hold on to your past? I'm talking to somebody out there right now. Your past is interrupting your present. Your present is interrupting right now. Glory to God. You got to let go your past. God told Saul, Samuel, how long you going to cry for this man seeing I rejected the hard head king from becoming king. Hey, glory to God. I reject him. I regret for being making this man a king because he listened to the people. Anytime people listen to people and can't listen for themselves and listen to God, that's not a person for you. How long? My subject is, how long are you going to hold on to your past, your hurt? This man hurts you. This girl hurts you. She cheat on you and you still hold on to her? He give you a black eye and you still sexing him? You still texting him? You still want to go places with him? My friend, it's time for you to change your number. It's time to change, glory to God, your fasana. It's time for you to be the person what God make you to be. You ain't no junk for no junk. You are a jewel. You ain't no trash can. You are a treasure. Hey, God, Shata. It's time for you to stop crying about your past. Let your past be past and be gone. It's time for you to make room. Hey, glory to God, for your new king. It's time for you to make room for your new, new queen. Listen, my friend. When Vastai say, I'm not going in to become to, to the king, the God say, okay, okay, go to God. The king say, go to God. Somebody say, king, go to God. Get you another edict and let their new, new queen in your present. And go to God. Hallelujah. Edessa, he go to Vastai was gone and Edessa came to the scene. My friend, God got somebody to replace you. Don't think you all that in a bag of chips. Hey, go to God. God got a new Esther. God got a new Hadessa. Hey, go to God. Hallelujah. And guess what? Hadessa, go to God. And Esther was the new king, was the new queen. The new queen replaced the old queen. She didn't want to come. Okay, okay. She no longer going to be my present. I will replace her with a new queen. And her name was Esther. Forget about your past. Stop crying about your past. God is making room for your future, your present, my friend. But you got to let go your past. The only way you can move on because you're still holding on to baggage. Holding on to junk. 
holding on to trash, holding on, glory to God. I know he do you real good, but my goodness won't do you good, my friend. You got a person that love you, a person that honor you, a person that cherish you, glory to God. Let him go, go, let him go. Hallelujah, glory to God. But make room for your present and make room for your future. My friend, I'm telling you, how long are you going to cry about your past? Let your past be past. Let your present be present. Make a room for your future. My friend, how long? How long? You're going to cry for this man. How long are you going to cry for this woman? God has rejected her and God rejected him and God making room for glory to God. Hallelujah, Mr. Right. Hey, glory to God in your sight. But you got to let go, Mr. Wrong. And let go, Mrs. Wrong. Hashataba. Hallelujah. That's why you'll be very careful how you marry so quick. If you're still dating, it's time for you to stop dating. Glory to God. A deadbeat. Hashata, go to God. If you're dating this girl and she's not for you, dump her. Yes, dump her. Hallelujah, glory to God. And move on to somebody that loves you, somebody that's honor you, somebody that, glory to God, open the door for you, somebody give you flowers, not just on Valentine's Day or birthday, but she honors you by loving you. How glory to God, hallelujah. Glory to, how long? How long? That's my question to you is how long you're going to cry for somebody that don't love you. Hashataba. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm talking to somebody right now. You're in a situation right now. You're dating this person and he dump you, kick you. He give you black eye. It's time for you to dump him. It's time for you to let her go. She cheat on you once. She will cheat on you twice, three times. It's time for you to leave her alone. Because my friend, if she marries, she will still be the same. If he marry you, he will still be the same. Marriage don't change people. Hey, glory to God.